Hi, I'm Tim Peterson, and we're going to go over how to open the closed guard and pass using the same side knee. Okay. So, I'm in my partner's closed guard. And the first thing I want to do is create the support position. So I'm going to pull all the slack out of the collars, twist both my hands, and put my knuckles into his armpit. From here, I need to keep my biceps turned out and my arms straight. Once I've gotten this position, I'm going to push my butt back to start peeling his heels away from his butt. This is going to make it much easier to open once I'm actually standing. I open my knee, step my leg back, open my other knee, step my leg back. And from here again, I'm trying to push my butt all the way back to get all the slack out of the legs. I'm going to walk my feet in. My knees are right over my feet and I pull my partner onto my knees so that his lower back is bending. Now on my right side, I'm going to keep my bicep turned out so that my shoulder is holding his knee behind me. On the other side, I cup his knee. I'm not even grabbing the pants. I'm just going to cup the knee. Slowly step back and push so his guard opens. Now as his guard's opening, I bring my knee over the top of his and put it right on the ground. And my partner will have to, at this point, push me with his shoulder. I grab his collar while I look to my right at the leg that I've stepped out to the side. And now I'm going to pull myself through, bringing both heels with me and landing in the side control. I keep my jaw down. Get underneath my partner's head, get the underhook, and connect my hands. Okay. Let's flip this way. Same thing. So now at this point, I'm opening his guard, and you can see that his knee is stuck behind my shoulder here. What I don't want is to give is to put slack into this and let him bring his knee out of there and start building his guard. Okay, so, I jump the legs. So I open it up and keep his knee behind me. As my knee comes down, I want to look towards my right so that my shoulder comes down heavy, which forces my partner to push on it. Here, go ahead, push. I latch onto that collar, and now I'm going to pull my shoulder towards his chest, turn both biceps out, my heels are both gonna go to my butt as I land my hip in his armpit. Immediately, my jaw goes down, so I'm not like this, where you can pick up on my jaw or turn my eyes, but my jaw is down underneath my partner's head with my first grip, grab his armpit underneath his arm with my second grip, and then I can either connect my hands together or stay with the hand on the armpit and one hand on the floor. So this specific guard pass, you won't see it actually resolve um, in tournaments all that often because it's what you do when somebody's just trying to keep their guard closed. Usually if uh, the person's good at playing guard, as soon as their guard would be forced open, they're going to go to spider guard or de la Hiva, or they're going to be responding earlier than uh, what would be done in this pass. This is when they just are like ankles locked, trying to hold the closed guard no matter what, and then you break it open and get your guard pass. And that's that. If you want more videos, please click below to subscribe. If you want to dive in deeper, you can click here to get a free video seminar I did of one of my favorite sequences uh, from standing to submission. And if you have any questions or anything you want to see, please leave it in the comments below.